Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome viewer. Today I want to discuss in brief hydrocephalus. The term hydrocephalus is derived from Greek word hydro meaning water and cephalus meaning head. As the name implies it is a condition in which the primary characteristic excessive accumulation of fluid in the brain. In the brain ventricular system, lateral ventricle, third ventricle, fourth ventricle. Here how the cerebrospinal fluid flow in the ventricular system. Hydrocephalus can be defined broadly as a disturbance of cerebrospinal fluid formation, flow, absorption, leading to increase in volume by fluid in the central nervous system. This is the normal ventricular system. This is the abnormal. More pressure in intracranial pressure and more fluid in the system, hydrocephalus. This is the hydrocephalus, hugely extended and pain prominent hydrocephalus and giving shunt, ventricular peritoneal shunt. After shunt, reduce the pressure. Incidence of congenital hydrocephalus 2 to 3 per 1000 life birth incidence equal in male female 25 percent of neonate with opening myelomeningeal seal or spina bipeda patient with myelomeningeal seal who require shunting 80 to 90 percent all over the world this patient available here uh, African or more and what is the importance of fluid this cerebrospinal fluid keeps the brain float within the skull floating any trauma the fluid save the brain material cushioning of the brain to prevent injury and removing the waste product of the brain metabolism so the say in CSF is very important for allied brain. In different the system, ventricular system, this opening of foramen monroe, third ventricle, fourth ventricle, cerebral aqueduct, hold the system when any disturbance of the tumor or blockage the pathway, it produces hydrocephalus. May be acute, which happen few days to weeks, and chronic over the years. Aqueductal stenosis, toxoplasmosis, pineal tumor, periaqueductal tumor, Sylvian aqueduct syndrome, posterior thalamic tumor. The congenital hydrocephalus due to infection, toxoplasmosis, cytomegalovirus rubella and genetic disorder non-communicating hydrocephalus stenosis aqueduct or not cherry malformation progressive gliosis of aqueduct intra uterine meningitis is the flow of fluid lateral ventricle third ventricle, fourth ventricle, Arnold Chari malformation, the downward displacement of the brain material and congenital toxoplasmosis, Other pathogen, syphilis, rubella, cytomegalovirus, herpes simplex virus, and congenital disorder. Meningoencephalitis. This carry the toxoplasmosis in brain tumor 
which obstruct the channel system, intercular channel system. Hydrocephalus uh, arising the symptom, vomiting, sleepiness, irritability, poor feeding, seizure, eye fixed downward, sun setting of the eye, deficit muscle tone, strain, poor responsive to task, poor growth. Unstable balance, seizure, urine and incontinence, high pitched cry, sucking problem, recurrent vomiting, breathing difficulty, seizure. And obstruction is the most common problem in hydrocephalus of the cerebrospinal fluid flow, obstruction, poor absorption, and overproduction. Genetic test to exclude x ring hydrocephalus. MRI, diffuse tensor imaging, radionucleotide cystinography, X ray skull and abdomen to show the BP shunt, the CT scan and MRI, the EEG, normal pressure hydrocephalus, EEG in hydrocephalus. So head enlargement, especially crossing partial of growth on the head enlargement, head circumference more than 98 percentile of age. The junction displaying of suture, dilated skull pain, tense bulging frontally, sunset sign, increase the tone. Papilloedema, failure of upward gaze, unsteady gait, large head. The most common treatment hydrocephalus is surgical insertion of drainage system called shunt. Long flexible tube valve keeps the fluid from brain right direction at the proper rate. Ventriculo peritoneal shunt, ventriculo atrial shunt, lumboperitoneal shunt, ventriculo cisternotomy, ventriculo pleural shunt, choroid plexotomy, and endoscopy. Third ventricle opening of stenosed aqueduct. CT scan, MRI, ultrasonography, all needed to see the prognosis and long-term complication of the hydrocephalus, especially intellectual, developmental, and physical disability, if not treatment. Survival in untreated has been very poor. 50% affected before three years of age die. 80% die before reaching the adulthood. And markedly improved the outcome of hydrocephalus, not as with the tumor, 95%. Hydrocephalus is no cure, but they are treatment that allows the affected to lead fairly normal lives with the condition. In some case, possible for the blockage of the shunt removed surgically. Thank you very much for watching. Please share to others who loved you for well-being of mankind. Thank you very much.